here the zenbook 14x oled is one of the best ultra books going around yes i'm not even joking thanks primarily to this awesome touch display here this is a touch oled display 90 hertz wolf and i guess yeah it has another display too so there's the party trick there so two displays and not only that compared to other ultra books especially in the windows world the performance you get out of this 40 watts on the cpu is just amazing now this does come with a 14 inch oled display 2.8 k it's 1800p 2880 by 1800 16 by 10 yes like every display should be peak brightness of 550 nits i measured 400 nits of sustained brightness so that's really good touch of course 90 hertz Intel 1165 G7, we know what that part does. 16 gigs of DDR4, very fast DDR4 as well. And you have an M.2 SSD in there as well. HDMI 2.0, it does come with Thunderbolt, micro SD card, and USB type A. Also a 63 watt hour battery where the battery life is really good. You're going to get 10 hours of battery life on this, so it's all day battery life. You can get an AMD version, so I guess, do you need Intel HD or Iris? You know, quick sync. Do you need a Thunderbolt? And of course, Thunderbolt being able to hook this up to an eGPU or have Thunderbolt accessories. And the thing is, here, because it has a 90 hertz display, yes, you know, hooking it up to an eGPU may be a thing. Super fast response of 0.2 milliseconds because it's OLED as well. 1.4 kilos, it's only just over three pounds. As I said, Intel or AMD if you want it. Good keyboard, I don't mind that keyboard. Not as lush as some other keyboards and you would think this trackpad wouldn't be good, but even though it has this display here, it actually is really good trackpad. It is really nice. And the second screen, of course. So all the boxes tick there, good battery life, performance display keyboard track pack everything is a tick there the port you want oh yeah but daddy does the tuono so the sound ain't gonna blow you away but it's pretty good so let's get into the display of course touch oled 90 hertz super fast response and if i was going to say the benchmark of displays is the apple display so the you know the pro xdr display you get in the macbook pro 16. this does not get as bright as the mac display I'm going to go into wallpaper engine. Let's have a look at some of these scenes here. Look at that beautiful, lush, vivid color. Now, the thing with the Apple display is it is LED. Even though it's micro LED or mini LED, sorry, it is still LED. So you don't get the rich contrast that you get on OLED, okay? So, you know, bright areas and then dark areas. No LED can match this of having black areas and then bright areas like you just can't match that on even mini led you know it does its best but it can't match it now what you need to know about the mac display is it's only bright view and hdr content most of the time you're in sdr mode and this is going to look better in sdr mode because of that contrast of the inky blacks and being able to get up to 550 nits although yes it is only a sustained you know 400 nits of brightness so nowhere near as you know bright as the mac display but you do have that contrast in most of the stuff you use in the sdr content world and the colors look more vibrant you know you know what oled is like a lot of people you know if they won't buy anything but oled and when you see oled oled is just wow and 90 hertz right when you consider that you know the pro xdr display on the macbook pro is 120 hertz but this is 0.2 millisecond response compared to 23 milliseconds that's on the macbook pro so it's like 50 times faster in pixel response so this is one of the best displays i've seen one of the best ultra books you're going to get because you have 40 watts of full performance under full load it sustained 40 watts on that cpu and it wasn't even that loud it got up to 90 degrees but it wasn't that loud yes you could hear it but when you think you're slamming it with 40 watts into a thin and light package you know just over three pounds wow the fan noise is well controlled so this has got good battery life everything you want in an ultrabook and being able to plug an eGPU in there and game on oled 90 hertz with that ultra you know fast response time wolf this thing is amazing 14 inches too 16 by 10 if you want an awesome ultrabook this is the way to go i love it this thing is amazing so yeah Catch you in the next one, guys. Tally ho.